Good morning and happy Wednesday everyone. One thing that we're seeing left behind from those thunderstorms that rolled through yesterday evening are some clouds. Now those clouds, they're helping to act almost like a blanket to keep us nice and comfortable across the coast this morning. Sitting at 52 degrees now in Brookings, some upper 40s in Crescent City, 49 degrees as well over in Medford and mid 40s over in Siskiyou County. East of the mountains, that's where we are slowly watching those clouds continue to move back in, but haven't been enough to keep us out of the 30s. Alturas just sitting at 38 degrees right now. And one thing that you also want to be on the lookout for, especially since we did see a few areas of showers move through and lighter winds on the move, is going to be a few areas of fog. Right now, dense fog being reported up in Sexton Summit, knocking your visibility down to less than one mile ahead. The rest of us, though, all those tens you're seeing, that's an unlimited visibility. And one thing that's helping us to stay clear across the coast are those very breezy winds. Right now, we're still seeing consistent wind speeds of 21 miles per hour over in Crescent City. Breezy in the valleys, too, where Montague, 12 mile per hour winds out of the north and even east of the mountains where Lakeview, we're seeing a 15 mile per hour consistent breeze. Also a little chilly coming out of the north for us. Now, of course, these strong winds are linked to those thunderstorms we saw move through yesterday evening and last night. They're all linked to a cold front that's continuing to push its way eastward, making plenty of room for a little bit of dry air linked to some high pressure to move in. Now, this high pressure is going to be staying in control for both today and tomorrow, but this break between systems, it's going to be short lived. We can already see this next cold front or that big band of clouds off to the west. It's going to start pushing our direction by the end of the week, allowing for some showers to start popping up Thursday night into the day Friday. Now those showers are going to be staying on the lighter side as we wrap up the week. Could still be low, looking up as much as a tenth of an inch of new rainfall in the Medford and Mount Shasta City areas as we head into the end of the work week. Across the coast today, looking at the exact opposite of that. We're going to watch the clouds moving out of here and some peaks of sunshine. One thing that we still are holding on to though throughout the day will be those strong breezy winds. Down into Northern California, pushing some clouds out as well. We're going to look at temperatures climbing into the mid 60s to lower 70s. So just a hair cooler than yesterday and still staying about five degrees above normal. As a trend we're seeing continue off to the east side of the mountains, we're still going to be holding on to the clouds throughout the morning. It's what's helping us to stay about 10 degrees warmer to start off the day than yesterday, but just allowing us to climb to the 60s this afternoon. And across the mountains, same trend for us as well. A mixture of sun and clouds throughout the afternoon. Still going to be a little breezy up in higher elevations like Crater Lake. We're looking at a high of 50 degrees. And southern Oregon's valleys, even though we're adding back in the sunshine, we will see high temperatures about 5 degrees cooler than yesterday. But we typically see mid-60s this time of year. So those mid-upper 60s still going to be a little bit above normal. Across the coast, as we mentioned, it's going to be that cold front moving through Thursday night and Friday that brings along the next best chance for showers and those showers continuing for your weekend as well as a cool down back into the 50s. And on the east side of the mountains, continue to look at some chilly overnight lows and we are going to be seeing that chance for showers moving in as well by the end of the week and your weekend. Not looking too great though on the east side of the mountains. That cold front will be losing momentum as it pushes your way. But just like we saw yesterday, clouds and strong gusty winds going to be something to still watch out for. And Northern California, best chance for showers getting here Saturday and Sunday, even into the start of next week. Could still see a few leftover showers from yesterday's cold front as you wake up today. It's mostly going to be those clouds though that you see. And across the Rogue Valley, even though we're adding back sunshine both today and tomorrow, we're still looking at cooler temperatures and that cool down continues as well into the weekend where we'll see mid 60s and a chance for some more rainfall by Saturday and Sunday.